Now we've been exploring a lot of different things you can do with a contour crayon individually. The contours, the mass, the awareness of lines and edges, the awareness of direction, the awareness of how to use the crayon itself to create different effects and looking at the large shapes, the abstract shapes. And now I'm going to try to combine that all. Mostly just doing a mass drawing with a certain amount of structure and shape in it and then I'm going to add the contour lines but I'm going to try to do something that's a little more elaborate, a little more convincing as a finished drawing. So here we go. I put the paper the long way because I'm going to take more time. I'm going to have a more finished, more dramatic effect. And of course, size is always impressive. And it does take a lot of faith in yourself when you do one of these. You've got to believe it's going to come out. And as you're going, sometimes it might look like it's not going to, so you've got to stay with it. Always helps when you have a beautiful pose. This is a lovely pose. Just trying to keep that sense of flow, continuity, direction, mass. and not to mention the mood of the pose. Now I'm going to add those flowing contours. That overlap. And I don't have to be necessarily bound by the mass drawing that I've already done. If I think it goes a little differently than what I first thought, it's my drawing. I can change it. Again, usually when you try to make something too finished, too fussy, all the life gets sucked out of it. So I'm trying, even though I'm trying to be true to what's there, not make it too perfect.
And usually it's a good idea to stop a little before you think it's done.